of illegal ravers have told us tonight they have video evidence of police beating people up at an outdoor dance event. They say police in full riot gear needlessly charged on hundreds of people attending the rave that took place in Bristol last weekend. The police say they themselves faced violent behaviour when they tried to break the party up. This is video footage taken by one of those at the weekend rave. It was held underneath the Long Ashton bypass in Bristol after the community festival in nearby Ashton Court had finished. At its height, 300 gathered for the dance. Among them was Matthew Williams, who showed us the film he'd taken because he was so shocked by how the police broke up the event. Many of the people who were there, um, including people who come from Ashton Court, as you can see, there's a lot of youngsters here, including a few, uh, few sort of uh, five-year-olds and things like this that had come in with families. Um, they weren't expecting this sort of thing. This was not a new age traveler event. And these police here certainly were hitting people who were in any way near them. Um, th this gentleman here, for instance, he's, he was put down on the floor, and even though his hands were above his head height, you know, basically asking for the police to stop. As you can see here, his hands are above head height, the knee is put in, you know, and the police are very forceful with him when all he's doing is saying, stop, please stop. Mike Ireland was also at the rave, but he says the police broke a bone in his hand when he tried to restrain a friend. As I tried to pull him off the police, the police whacked me with, you know, one of their extendable long metal pole, uh, whatever, I'm not sure quite what they're called but then fractured one of the bones in my hand there. I mean, fractured three of the bones in my hand there and cracked in half the one bone on that hand there. Others showed us their injuries today, blaming the police for heavy-handedness. The police told us in a statement the event was illegal and there'd been complaints about loud music. They'd waited for four hours for the rave to wind up, but decided to move in at about five on Sunday morning and faced violence from some partygoers. Five arrests were made, two police officers had minor injuries. But those like Matthew Williams say other raves in Bristol have been tolerated by the police and wonder why officers in riot gear had to be used this time. Those injured are making complaints against Avon and Somerset police. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West, Bristol. Well, welcome to the programme. If you've just joined us, then stay right where you are, but make sure you've got plenty of pens and paper because we've got...